Hi everyone and welcome to our South Cebu trip. Our flight arrived in Cebu late in the evening, so we just went directly to Rano Hotel Cebu, which offers 900 per night for two persons already. We had to wake up early because our van transfer picked us up at exactly 5 a.m. going to our first destination, which is the Sardine Run and Turtle Watching at Mawal Bual in South Cebu. It took us approximately 3 hours to travel from Cebu City to Mawal Bual. Though it was a great experience seeing the sardines swimming all in sync, it was unfortunate that there were only two turtles inside so the tendency of crowds farming was really present. We just grabbed a quick lunch along the way going to Badian for the canyoneering adventure. It's my second time experiencing Kawasan canyoneering and apart from the very majestic sightings, I'd say that it's definitely tiring all the same. You will really need a good amount of strength and stamina for this particular activity, plus courage jumping off those cliffs. The whole adventure got us almost 5 hours of trekking, jumping, swimming, and floating. But I assure you that it was all worth it. Exhausting, yes. But fun filled and enjoyable experience, a big yes. We traveled to a slob and checked into one of the pension houses there. At 4.30 a.m. the following day, we started our tour with the viewing of the beautiful sunrise, then swimming with the whale sharks. It's a must to come here very early in the morning as it gets really crowded. It was scary at first but I realized that they're really cute and kinda look like my pet dog Pug from home. I don't know. We ate our breakfast then reached Sumilan Island at around 9 am. The water was pristine in here, pretty unbelievable for a place to be this appealing. I thought it was beautiful. Going and seeing the Tomalog Falls was the very highlight of this trip, at least personally. I would say that this is a highly recommended spot for everyone to visit. I've seen a lot of waterfalls in the Philippines but nothing compares to the beauty of Tomalog Falls. I felt overwhelmed absorbing its natural beauty, really captivating. On the road back going to Cebu City, we stopped at some of the tourist destinations found in the south, including the Oslo Church and Quartel Heritage, the massive Simalo Church, which is situated in Sebonga.
had their lunch at Car Car, where the famous and very delicious lechon can be eaten at 150 pesos only per half serving. Oh, did they mention that it was also my birthday? So after we checked into our hotel, we went to Tam Cafe to eat some good food and celebrate my birthday. Tam Cafe was actually suggested by my Cebuana colleague and mentioned that only two Cebuanos know about the restaurant. They give one peso cake slices for every food and drink purchased. This ends our Cebu Southern tour everyone. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. By the way, we booked our tour with Sir Neil Orlanes hassle-free transaction and very accommodating assistance. Hoping that this video will be a big help for your very old travel to Cebu soon. Have a great day ahead and thank you so much for watching. Bye!